Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today, I'm gonna to be talking to you about how to become a professional musician. So, how do I know how to become a professional musician? That is because those of you that watch my channel, you already know that I'm a musician myself and a professional musician at that. And it's taken a long time, many years to get to, get to where I kind of am and have been now for, for, for quite some years. And I thought that along that journey, I've learned lots of things and I thought I'd share it today in this video to try and help you guys, whether you're, whether you're like, I don't know, a young, a youngster that's just started studying music at school, going on to college, going on to university, and you're wondering how can you kind of get your foot in the door? This is going to be a little bit different in terms of some of the other videos you may have seen, which cover this topic. This is going to be like from my own experience and just certain things that can help you to kind of get your foot in the door and be known and start to show your talent and hopefully reap the rewards from that getting the professional work that you want to get as a musician now it's not going to be easy it's a long journey but i've got five tips today or five previous experiences that i'm gonna share so let's get straight into it okay so number one listen and learn now of course as a musician as somebody who's trying to learn their instrument and come up you have to spend a lot of time learning your instrument. You know, you have to spend time putting the work in, you know, practicing day after day after day. And for me, as a youngster, when I was at school, that's exactly what I did. I wanted to start learning drums as soon as I went to secondary school. In my last year of junior school in year six, I had, um, believe it or not, status quo come into my school and did like a little workshop performance. I thought I need to start learning drums. So the next year I started having lessons. And when I was at secondary school, every day I would come into school straight into the, straight into the drum room, practice, now go after class, break time, drum room, lunch time, drum room, after school, drum room. I never had a drum kit at home. I never had a drum kit till I was a lot older, really, to be fair, when I was in, maybe in university even. But when I was in school, I used to just practice all the time. And that is something you have to do. You have to develop that passion for what you do you always just want to be doing it. When I was at school, it wasn't a question of, like sometimes I even skipped class sometimes because I was just so in my feels on the kit. And the teacher was never like, oh, where's Luke? They were like, somebody go get Luke from the drum room. They knew where I was. But along with that, listening is so important because you need to be able to be like a sponge, soak it all up, take it all in. If you've got a good drum teacher or a good music teacher, listen to them but also music around you. Surround yourself with people that can educate you. I was really lucky. I grew up playing in church, surrounded by great musicians like Andy Connell, Lorne Connell, people like that I now, to this day, play with in a band called the Connell Brothers. But I grew up with them as a youngster, learning from them. And these are like top pros. Um, and listening is so important. Be like a sponge, take it in, never think you know all. Even if you get to a great level, even if you're like 16 and you feel like you're like amazing, always listen. Constructive criticism, we can always grow and develop. And I'm still doing that to this day. So anyway, let's move on to number two. Number two, network. Networking is so, so important. Okay. And this means like just getting out there and putting yourself out there. You know, like go to these open mic nights, meet new people. But as you do that, be a friendly face, smile, you know, be inviting, you know, because people, when it comes to the music industry, yes, talent will get you so far, but you need to be a person that people want to be around. They enjoy being around you. They enjoy your company. And when you're smiley and you're warm and you're inviting, you know, and the conversation's flowing, people enjoy being around you. And if you've got the talent and the ability to go along with that or some level of talent and ability, that's really going to hold you in good stead. So for me, when I first started um, getting into music, and whilst I was at college and, and all this, I used to, well, when I was at college firstly, and I was studying catering, I used to go along to the local music shop, and I used to just play in there all the time and meet people. And then as the years went on, and I, I, I went back to college to start doing music, I started going to every single open mic night, like, in Southampton, there were so many open mic nights and almost every night of the week. And I was just there, just playing, networking, just kind of showing people what I could do, but also just, you know, just socializing. 
So that was so important. Um, the network, network, network. Get yourself out there. Don't just be a bedroom player. I know it sounds easier said than done. Some people do get a bit in their shell and they don't want to go out and share their talent. But if you want to be a professional musician, if you want to get out there and play and perform with other people and start doing more high-profile high work, you can't just lock yourself in the bedroom. You have to try and force yourself to get out there and just be, you know, be open and just learn and network and meet new people. So let's move on to number three. Number three, this is quite a long one, but this is sell yourself for free, make them want to pay. Sell yourself for free, make them want to pay. Now, what I mean by that is that you have to, at the early stages, be ready and willing to just go out there and just sell your talent or sell your skill for free. Like, don't expect to get paid big bucks for these gigs in the early stages. You just want to get out there and play as much as you can. So, for instance, I used to have my friend Jay, um, Jonathan Fashol Luke, who I still play with to this day. We've been playing together for like over a decade now. In the early stages, he said to me, Oh, I've got this gig coming up. I said, Okay, that's cool. Where are you playing? He'd tell me where he was playing. I said, Oh, who's playing drums? And he'd be like, Oh, we haven't got a drummer. There's no budget for it. I was like, Oh, I'll come along and play. And I'd just turn up with my drum kit, play for free. Play for free not expecting to get paid we had some uh the, the 90 degrees live lounge I used to play there all the time it was every wednesday or it might have been sunday actually i think we changed the day it was wednesdays and sundays but um but i used to play there for free rock up with my cajon and just play and then as time went on the management was like oh yeah we we, we quite enjoy having the box and jay was like well you're not going to get it for free any longer you know what I mean? You've got to pay. But even then, it started off with just 20 quid. 20 pound here, 20 pound there. Oh, you got a gig? Oh, I'll come play drums for you. They give me a tenner. You know, they might get me a drink. Something like that. I was getting nothing out of it. But what I was getting is just that opportunity to get out there and play and do what I love. And also share that with other people. And whilst selling yourself for free, trust me, in the long term, people are going to want to pay. You know, if you if you put a good account of yourself and you're warm, you're open, you're friendly, like I say, smiley, and you're showcasing your talent, they're going to think to themselves, actually, this is adding good value here. Let's start to, to pay. On the flip side of that, you have to be willing to know when to cut it off. You have to be willing to when to say, I'm no longer going to pay, pay for free. Because otherwise you'll be playing for free forever. Or you've been playing for 20 quid, 30 quid. At some point, you've got to value yourself. You've got to say to them, listen, I've done it for free for so long now. Now this is going to cost you 50 quid. It's going to cost you 80 pounds. It's going to cost you 100 pounds. Whatever your price is, set your standards. But in the early stages, you can't expect to just rock up and start getting paid for gigs. I don't think so anyway, from my personal experience. I think one of the best things I did, and I love the fact that now I can share that with other young musicians coming up, just to get out there and just put yourself in the environment in the right place at the right time and that way you just build rapport with people you're showcasing your talent your ability and eventually people are going to think oh, that luke that john whoever it is we want to pay for them we need to get them back so anyway let's move on to number four we're getting there number four be confident be noticed be confident be noticed so when you go to these environments when you're in this space even if you i know it's being confident is like it's a hard one really because i know some people struggle with confidence which is fine if that's you that is not an issue i know probably i, I know some musicians myself that are still playing at a very high level and they're not maybe the most confident but if you can try and put yourself in a position where you can go in there and just like settle yourself be confident and just showcase what you can do that will really help the way to do that is going back to the first bit listen learn network all of these steps leading up to this now step four be confident be noticed are going to help you when you network with people you become more comfortable with people and more comfortable in that environment then you feel like you can go in there and just showcase and just enjoy yourself and just let it all out okay 
And as you're learning and becoming better on the drums or whatever it is, your guitar, your singing voice, whatever it is, as you learn and become more confident and comfortable in your own ability, that's going to help you when you go out there into these environments. So be confident is a definitely a top tip for me. Be noticed when you're playing. Don't showboat. Doing loads of drum fills and all that. You don't need to do that. But be noticed. Do little things. Little tasty bits. Be musical. So when you're playing, just lay it down. Oh, and, and the people in the band will be like, oh, this groove is tight. You know, whatever it is. I'm talking as a drummer right now, but whatever it is. And then when it comes to your time to shine, if you're a guitarist and you get a solo, just showcase what you can do. Be noticed. Stand out. Make them want to hear you again. Want to have you back. So be confident. Be noticed. And finally, one thing that I really... Well, I strive to do myself in all my performances. Whenever I perform, perform live, whether that's in a band, on my own, it doesn't matter. I could be part of a 60-piece band and I still want to be entertaining. Entertain is my last point. When you're playing, bring people in. You know, through your eyes, through your smile, through your facial expressions. You know, don't be closed off. Be open. Entertain. Make people just jam with you. I and mean, I've got this clip once that I played at um, Orange Rooms. And I was doing this groove and I was just, I was going on the drums and I just dropped the drumsticks and just started going, eh, hey, like this. And in the crowd, I looked out and like people in the crowd just like clapping along and just like going mental with me, you know? And that is just part of being entertaining. Now, it doesn't matter if you're the best player in the world, if you're the best singer in the world, it doesn't matter. Regardless of your ability levels or where you are as a musician, being entertaining and just bringing people in, taking them on a journey, and just um, making almost making them feel what you feel, you know, that that feeling of happiness and elation as you're playing your instrument. If you can do that, that's really going to hold you in great stead. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that helps you on your musical journey. Number one, listen and learn. Number two, network. Number three, sell yourself for free. Make them want to pay. Number four, be confident, be noticed. And number five, entertain. I hope this helps you on your musical journey. If you've got any more questions, please post it down in the comments. I'd love to help as much as I can. If you want to see some of my musical performances, just check them out. I'll post a link at the end of this video to the playlist where you can watch me do some of my percussion covers, some of my stuff in the bands. But, um... But yeah, and like I say, for me, this stuff's really helped. I mean, it's taken me from being like a player that just played in school, to then playing in church, to then playing out and about in open mic nights, to then being in bands, to then doing lots of pub gigs, and then elevating myself to going into London and playing with artists up there, working with Mr. Hudson, Matt Henry, recording people's albums, playing festivals, all stuff like this has come from just these points here. And just continuing to build and grow. And right now, I'm in a place where I still got further to go. I still want to reach new heights within the industry and keep pushing myself and get more high profile work. But all you can do is keep on working hard and enjoy and love what you do. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Hope you're enjoying the content. I really overwhelms me and I, I really appreciate it the fact that you guys sit and watch my videos and hopefully this can help you if you if this isn't going to be of help to you if you're not a musician send it across share it to people that are or maybe you can transfer some of these skills into other walks of life other job prospects that maybe are going to affect you more networking all of these things can really um transcend into other industries as well if you're completely new to the channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate all the support and I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers.